24 hours from now, Katie and I are going to be married. <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited. I've been counting down the days. Who here has done online dating before? Anyone? Show of hands. Come on, there's way more than that. Who's going to... You don't, you don't have to admit that... You don't have to admit that you're on online dating now, okay? It is a jungle out there, if you've done it. You know, and like, like any jungle, there's gross, creepy, crawly stuff where you're like, ah! And then there's these, you know, like rare, majestic beings that you're like, wow, that's the prettiest thing I have ever seen in my life. And that was Katie for me. When I met her and got to know her, I, I just knew she was that that rare, special being in the jungle. So I, I deleted that app as fast as I could. <laughs> Hi, Cameron. Take you, Katie. Hi, Katie. Take you, Cameron. To have and to hold. From this day forward. Cameron came as a highly anticipated child. I had no idea how much I was going to love him from the very, very beginning. You know, from the first time she wrapped her tiny fingers around mine to the incredible, accomplished woman that she has become, I just, uh, I'm, I'm in awe. It's been an honor to me and Donna to witness her growth. My late husband was constantly bragging to the people in his office about his children and later his grandchildren about their exploits, their grades, their athletic accomplishments, etc., etc., etc. So now, were he still alive, he would be uh, bragging about Katie, too. The last has been an unfolding and expansion of the love that exists between them. They've been very good at nurturing one another. Hey, Nate! Oh, all right, how beautiful you look. All right, Katie. I don't think I've ever seen you look more beautiful. Let me warmly welcome Cameron. Cameron, the man who swept Katie off her feet. Cameron, from the first moment I saw the sparkle in Katie's eyes, whenever she was with you, I knew you were the one. And your love for Katie is truly amazing and extraordinary. And Cameron, we are thrilled to welcome you and Copeland into our family. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. soon now. Cameron, thank you for bringing our best friend back to Austin. <laughs> so happy for that. 
Katie came down for a UT football game and also had her first date with Cameron. And it was a Friday night and she walked out of the bathroom and Hunt looked at her and he goes, oh, Aunt Katie, you look beautiful. Not something an eight-year-old says, by the way, right? Katie and I go way, way back, right? So we were dear friends all the way through school. We have not lived in the same city since we graduated high school. Did move back to Fort Worth for a very short stint. And then all of a sudden, like, she went totally radio silent on me. I'm sending her texts, she's not writing me back. I'm like, what the hell, did I do something wrong? <laughs> oh, she must be in love. Cameron and I uh, met back in 2012. As soon as I met him, I knew this was a special dude. We realized we had one thing in common. We were raised by very strong, amazing mothers. Because of that, we are loyal, we're kind, we're compassionate, we're caring, we're loving, respectful. I mean, handsome. I mean, not to brag, but we're like perfect husband material. Katie goes to dinner, meets Cameron, he brings her back to my house, and there is a crew waiting at my house to hear about Katie's first date. Cameron walks Katie in, grabs a beer, pulls up a chair, and is there with everybody, and we knew it was game on. And one of the first things she said to me was, he really reminds her of Todd. And I was like, that's not possible. But tonight, I learned some really great stories about him, about how Cameron's like, do you want to hear how we met? Or like, you know, whatever. And he's got these great stories. And the best one tonight was, um, Katie was my parole officer. And she was my favorite parole officer. And I'm like, oh shit, he is like Todd, okay. Copeland, you are a welcome addition to our crazy kid crew. You now have more to your village, and we are happy to be a part of your village. You look amazing. Oh, yes, you look so easy. And when she first told me about you, just like you said, Big Win, there was this look in her eye, and I knew this is not, this is not the same. This guy is special. And you are very special. And I am just so thrilled for you. You are with the most amazing, loyal, beautiful, brilliant person, one of the, that I've ever known. That date that they mentioned, I was on that date. And if you look just right and the sun hit Cameron's eye just the right way, you could see that little sparkle. It was beautiful. It was really beautiful. Katie, you met your perfect match and I couldn't be happier about what life has in store for you, Cameron and Copeland. I know that you guys have all the right ingredients to have a long, fun, loving, adventurous marriage and relationship, so I'm just so happy for you both. I wish them every many happy years together and hope their love expands to reach all those around them as it's doing today. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority, now and forevermore. Amen. Cameron, you may kiss the bride. May your love be as timeless as the stars, as pure as the morning sunrise, as enduring as the ocean's waves, and may your hearts always beat as one. Cheers. I just want to say very sincerely that I cannot wait to marry you tomorrow, and um, yeah, that's it.